Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Cole. Welcome to Trans Spirit Indigo. I'm a soul having a human experience, much like yourself. I happen to be a transgender male and non-binary. On this channel, I like to talk about my experiences on that journey in hopes that it will help you to better understand yours or maybe the journey of someone you love. I also talk about spiritual awakenings and the ascension journey and what you can do to make that path a little smoother for yourself. In today's video, I want to talk about staying true to your divine plan and what you came to earth to do. If you're not aware of it yet, I want you to know that we all came here to earth with a divine plan, with a blueprint, so to say. We signed soul contracts and we want to learn certain lessons while we're here on this planet. Now, things don't have to go an exact certain way because it's also a planet of free will. So there could be certain things that you want to do along the way, but sometimes we steer and go the wrong, the wrong way. There is no right or wrong. That's the funny part. As humans, we're so used to right and wrong, black and white, bad, good. But really, everything is neutral. That's one of the most interesting parts to me. So, like for me... I went off of my path for many years and I went down a road of heavy drinking and partying. And that obviously was not the best path for me, but it taught me a lot. So, you know, sometimes we don't always stay on that actual path. But the thing is, is there are so many clues and so many signs, angelic signs, inner signs that we feel within ourselves, our higher consciousness talking to us to let us know what the best path is, where to navigate, where to steer. Like for me, years ago when I was heavily drinking, it's like I kept hearing this voice, not audibly, but within my mind's eye telling me how, how badly I needed to quit drinking. Like it kept telling me, you know, there's so much for you in this life, but you won't see it until you quit abusing alcohol. Well, that voice was correct. <laughs> that voice, I believe, was my soul or angels. And when I started to follow that path more, like I put down the booze, I picked up the guitar, and I focused on my music, certain people, certain situations started to appear in my reality. That's the thing. Staying true to what you feel called to is one of the most important parts on your path. Because what you're meant to do is usually what you feel most called to do. And the funny thing about this place is, and the matrix is, the 3D matrix, mainstream society will do everything to make you think that following your dreams is a pipe dream or ridiculous. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. There is an agenda to keep you from what you're meant to do, as crazy as that sounds. Don't listen to it. <laughs> Just don't listen to it. Ah, sometimes it's, it's easier said than done, right? I know it has been for me. There were many years that I spent pretending to be a chef in training. When I started working at 16 years old, I started off in fast food restaurants and then I got into actual restaurants. I didn't know anything about cooking. My parents were not into cooking. I didn't grow up with having someone teach me how to cook. There was no internet when I was a kid to look it up. I didn't care to look at a cookbook, so you get the picture. I, didn't, I wasn't really into it, but it was a comfort zone. I had been working at fast food, so I thought, well, I guess I'll start working in restaurants because I'll make more money doing that than fast food. Well, y'all, I'm really thankful I did because I learned how to cook. But the thing was, or the thing is, it, it's not my path. It wasn't my path. It always fell off. And every time I was at these jobs cooking, all I could think about was I wanted to go home and write songs because that's what I meant to do. <laughs> there's a few things I meant to do. And with you, there's probably, there could be multiple things. It's not always just one thing you're meant to do, especially if you are an entrepreneur, which a lot of star seeds, indigos, lightworkers are entrepreneurs because we don't fit into that matrix. We came here to break the mold, y'all. That's why we're here. Well, one of the reasons, we're here to raise the overall consciousness of 
the planet and help people to uh, wake up, so to say. But we're here to break the mold. We're not here to do the, the stereotypical. Some of us do. I mean, I've done the whole nine to five thing before for very briefly, like very briefly, because I've never been an office person. For years, I worked in kitchens. And don't get me wrong, working in kitchens can be awesome. But when you're not meant to do it, it's not very awesome because all you can think about is what you really want to be doing. And for me, that was playing songs. Okay, y'all, so one of the biggest things that I hear, and I have said so many times is, yeah, but I gotta pay the bills. Oh my God, if I had a dollar for every time that I have said that in my life, about, you know, people are saying, why don't you just do your music? Why don't you just do that? Why are you working in this restaurant? Why are you doing this? Oh, but I got to pay the bills. Y'all, that's like some kind of collective thing that we all seem to say. <laughs> and there's truth to it. We do have to pay our bills. The thing is, a lot of times, that's fear that keeps us in jobs that we don't like. Now, there are stepping stones. And there are times where... Maybe you're, you're doing whatever, you're delivering food or working in a restaurant or working at a gas station to save up to make other things happen. And that's fine. But don't ever give up on your dream. Please don't ever give up on your dream because it's meant for you. What you're seeking is seeking you. I don't know who said that quote originally, but it's smart and it's true. And it's the law of attraction. And the more you focus on something, the more you're bringing it to life. I was told for years to give up on the music and get a real job. That's another matrix. Like that's um, what they call a pendulum. There are paradigms and pendulums. Now pendulums can be the thing that you swing back and forth. But if you're into Bob Proctor's work, um, then also Jake Ducey, then you're going to hear about pendulums. And it's pretty much a group of people with the same idea. Like say sports teams, like they're fans. Like from... For me, my hometown of St. Louis, the St. Louis Blues hockey, you know, that's, that's a pendulum all in itself. All the fans, they all dress in the same clothes. They're all into the same team. They all have the same, you know, overall idea. Hey, we love this hockey team. That's a pendulum. So there are certain pendulums floating around in the quantum multiverse and certain ideas. And some of those examples are you know, oh, to be a musician, I'll use myself as, as an example. Oh, to be a musician and to make good money off music, that's a pipe dream. That's an idea of a pendulum, of just a negative belief system that m is very much true for some people, but for others it's not. I've met people that have not made any money on their music and it's just all negative, like, oh, it's too hard to do this, I gotta get a real job. And you know what else? I've met people who had the exact opposite mentality and they're making enough off of selling one song that they don't have to work ever again. It's all about your mindset. It's all about how you perceive it. So staying focused on what you feel called to do is so important. I don't want you to give up on yourself. I was inspired to make this video because you know, I've had some some good news and good stuff come up and thinking about my music a lot lately and thinking about how far I've come. I mean, I've been writing for 21 years, y'all. And I've been in the music industry for almost 16 years. And, you know, it's a lot like acting. It's a lot like it's a lot of things with the arts. It doesn't happen overnight most of the time. And that's okay. I notice a lot of people, very creative people, giving up on, on that kind of stuff, on music or art or painting or writing because it's like they want that security of a paycheck right away. And I get it. But respectfully, it's an illusion. The security is an illusion. Yes, I mean, in so many ways, it's like it's not an illusion when they're paying their bills with it, but it's an illusion in the sense that it's not guaranteed it's always going to be there. You could work for some company and have solid pay and the company could go under. So it's like a false sense of security. And another thing about this planet is like we weren't meant to just always be in security and in the safe zone. 
This life's journey is about going outside of the comfort zone and it's terrifying and it's beautiful. When I've gone out of my comfort zone, I've experienced things I'd only dreamed of. I've traveled to places I'd years ago, especially when I was still drinking, I wouldn't have even been able to imagine. I, I'm so blessed and I've seen these places. I've experienced these encounters, these opportunities, the people along the way that I've met by going out of my comfort zone, believing in my dreams, believing in my talents, and just keep going forward. It's funny, you see these people gain success or they, they sell a song to make a bunch of money or they become a rock star or this and that. And you know, the media or whatever makes it look like it's all overnight. But for a lot of people, it's not. And a lot of people, it's a process. So many people will tell you, you know, it took them 10 years. Now, I know this is geared more toward like musicians and artists, but that's what, that's what I know. That's where I'm coming from. So I wanted to share that uh, in case you are too, or you can just relate it to what you're going through. A lot of us along the way have given up our dreams because we feel like it's childish to have dreams. No, honey, that's the matrix. That's a matrix trying to get people to be obedient. You, you didn't come here to be obedient. Now, yeah, yeah, you follow basic moral laws. You know, you don't hurt people. You don't steal. You don't do anything like that. You pay for your stuff. You, you pay things on time. Yes, yes. But you weren't, you didn't come here to be somebody's corporate slave. You didn't come here to build someone else's business. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Why spend eight to 10 hours a day helping to build someone else's business when you could be building your own? Now, however you need to make that work. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Sometimes maybe you have to give up certain things and downgrade for a while, materially, like materialistically, but for a good cause to save and get yourself back on your feet and create your business. So whatever that means to you, I, I hope that helps because it's been so useful for me over the years. The people along the way, they fed me breadcrumbs like little angels, you know, telling me, don't give up. Don't give up. Or the days where I'm feeling extra strong and I'm telling myself, I, I can't, I can't give up. I got to keep going. Because you came here again with a plan. And it's about following your heart and following what resonates and calls to you most. Do those things. That's what you came here to do. That's what you came here to do. Especially nowadays, the day of the day, the age of the internet, the day of the internet, um, this is a time for entrepreneurs, y'all. You can make just about anything into a business. So I highly encourage you to follow your heart and to follow that divine plan. I hope this message has helped you. I wanted to share my inspiration. I wanted to share all the love and light that I feel about this subject. I don't want you to give up on yourself or your dreams. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how long you've been doing it and haven't seen success yet. You can't give up because if your heart is calling to it, that's what you're meant to do. And again, it could be, it could be multiple things. You know, it doesn't have to be just one thing. And yeah, there are times where we have to work jobs that we're not very fond of, but don't let yourself get stuck there. Always know you can create whatever you want in this life. You create your reality with your thoughts, with your intentions, with your overall emotion and vibrational frequency. So it might not happen overnight, it usually doesn't, but with patience and persistence and consistency, you will create whatever life that you desire for yourself. First, you have to believe it. You have to believe it. I believe in you. <laughs> thank you for believing in me and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. This has just been an awesome experience so far and I'm excited to keep going forward with it. If you have noticed, I have not been making as many videos the past couple weeks and I appreciate everybody's support. I have some other projects going on that I really need to give some love and attention to so I needed to kind of even things out. And also, I'm working toward making these videos better and just growing. So, I will be here every week, at least once a week, if not more. But for now, I just, again, want to send you love and I want to send you light. Have a fantastic day, night, morning, wherever you are in the now moment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the like button, the bell notification. 
all that good stuff. And uh, mentioning my music, if you haven't uh, seen it yet, if you go down below in the description box, it's a link to all my music. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Much love and light, y'all. See you next time.